Hey guys. Put some bug spray on. Bugs are bad. <clears throat> Alright, we are back again with another episode here. And my new shotgun came in. This is the <clears throat> G Force Arms uh, GF99 12 gauge semi auto on uh, AR. It's the ergonomics of an AR platform, but it's not an actual AR platform. It's just the look and feel. Let's take a look here and see what we got. All right. Get this plastic off. gun looks pretty good. This has got the tactical gray finish on it. <clears throat> As I said, it's uh, AR style, so it gives you the look and feel of an AR. But this one, it does not have an adjustable length. It does have an adjustable comb, so you can set that for your cheek rest, however you want that. Which, considering this is a flat top... I imagine it needs to be all the way down. Let's see. This is magazine fed. Got your front sling attachment. Got your accessories. Got four accessory places out here on the end. Got your full length Picatinny rail. Removable. It's not really a muzzle brake, it's just for looks. Um, it's a modified choke. Let's see what else we got in the box here. All right, we got two. I thought it only came with one. We got two five-round magazines. Oh, and came with flip-up sights. Didn't realize that either. Probably going to be putting a red dot on this anyway. Or, if I don't do a red dot, I'm going to do ghost rings. Not a giant fan of the AR sights on this, but... It'll work for the meantime. Okay, these are just, they're not Magpul or anything. These are just cheap plastic ones. So, that'll work. <clears throat> All right, got that. Let's see, as I said, it's 20 inch barrel, modified choke. Let's see, these, how are these, they're rocking. There we go. You gotta give them a pretty good tap to get them in. There we go. A little piece on the bottom was throwing me off, but that's just got a little spring loaded. All right, so it locks back on the empty magazine. Let's see if that works. Yep, it does. I wasn't sure if that was gonna be just for show or not. <clears throat> magazine release works fine. Gun feels good. Feels weird holding a shotgun and not being able to look straight down the ventilated rib that I'm used to. <clears throat> This is the first time I've ever had a shotgun that's not a traditional design. I got several of those. Got a bunch of pumps, got a bunch of semi autos, but I've never had an AR style shotgun. So this is going to be all new to me. It feels good. It looks good. It is hot out here. I think this gun's going to be pretty fun. The real question is will it cycle? Uh, as I said, this is the G-Force. It's actually manufactured by Bora Arms. It is imported by G-Force. It's got a 3-inch chamber. And if what I read online is correct, they don't recommend shooting slugs out of this particular model. 
I'm gonna do some more research and see if the this just screws off. I'm gonna do more research and see if this is an actual choke you can change out or if it's set from the factory as just modified. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm gonna stop the video right here real quick just to let you know that I did go research this and the manufacturer does not recommend shooting slugs out of this particular model. It has a fixed modified choke. You cannot put any other chokes on it. It is like that from the factory. <clears throat> and they're not going to recommend shooting slugs through a modified choke. Can you shoot slugs through a modified choke? I have done it. I know people that do it. I know people that get better groups out of a modified choke. However, the manufacturer doesn't recommend it. Overall, most people are not going to recommend it. So I'm going to tell you not to try this at home. So anyway, back to the video. If it is strictly modified and you can't shoot slugs through it, I'm not going to be very happy with this one because my uh, uh, I was planning on doing slugs out of this gun more than anything. So I'll be a little disappointed on that if that's the case. But anywho, that's for a later video. <clears throat> I will definitely let you all know on that. I will post all the specifications and even give you the SKU number to it on uh, Palmetto State Armory in case y'all are interested in it. But uh, I'm going to break away now. I'm going to throw those sights on and just do some shooting and see how it functions. Catch you on in just a second. Alright guys, <clears throat> got the target set up. I'm not too far away because I ain't going to worry about sighting these in today because I'm not leaving these sights on there. So I just want to see how it shoots. I'm going to run five rounds through it. Um, then we'll test, see how fast it shoots, make sure everything cycles. Uh, this is two and three quarter inch high velocity. So let's see how it goes. All right. Here we go. Cycled. Everything stayed back. So we here, pretty good group. I'll grab another magazine. All right. We're gonna go a little faster on this one. See how it does. Cycled. No problem. Caught up a little bit on the trigger. The uh, trigger on this one. It's a pretty heavy trigger. Well, there went the magazine. You can, I'll use this hand. It's a pretty heavy trigger. Not that smooth. But for a shotgun, it's okay. I like the way it functions. Throw some more rounds in, we'll blow up a water bottle or something. I'll be right back. All right, let's see if we can blow up those two water bottles. Shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Got that target too. Works pretty good. So far, I like it. Um, the recoil. Recoil is not too bad. It's pretty, it's eight pounds. So it's got a little weight to it, but uh, it's not that bad. The uh, magazines, let's see. Magazine's a little tough to load, but I think it's just cause it's the way it's designed. See these indentions right here? If you push too far, it catches and won't let you slide in. So it's kind of got to be exact right there. Those notches there, when you put the shell in, if you go too far, it catches. But it's not that bad. I, they might all be like this. I don't know. Like I said, I've never shot anything other than a traditional style shotgun. So this is new. But the recoil is not bad, which is what we're going to take a peek at right here. Sorry. Come through off camera for a second. 
So you can see that target. Magazine seated. Oh, kind of caught on that shield, but went forward still. Let's see if it cycles. But I'm just going to try it from the hip because the recoil didn't, didn't seem to be that bad. So here we go. Oh, yeah, recoil is not bad at all. As you can see. Yeah, recoil is not bad on this gun at all. Well, that's only, what, 20 rounds? I think that's 20 rounds through it. So not a hefty review, but for first impressions, I think that'll do just fine. Get y'all a nice close-up of the firearm. And as I said, like I said, it is not an adjustable length stock. It is a fixed position stock, but you can't adjust the comb on it. Get you a look on the other side. Nice grip. I like the grip. This is a rubberized grip. Feels really good in the hand. The only thing I don't like about it is much like anything with a finger groove. When I grip it right, my finger rides on top of that. You can see it. My finger rides right on top of that finger groove. So I have to stretch my finger up a little bit if I go down into the groove, but. I'm like that with every gun that I shoot that has a has a finger group. So that's uh oh uh oh oh that's my fault. I should have checked that. I didn't have that tightened down. I should have checked that from the factory. That is completely my fault. So other than that working loose, which like I said, I didn't check it out of the box, so that's probably my bad. But aside from that, I didn't see any issues. It cycled everything, didn't jam. It did, when I pulled back that time, it didn't send it all the way to battery, but just a little nudge and it slapped right in place. So these, these are some old rounds I'm trying to get rid of, so I'm not going to blame that on the gun until... I shoot some new brass, new shells through it because those have a little corrosion on the back. So that could have been what caused it to catch. I'm not sure, but we're going to do some more shooting. I'm going to get a bunch of more rounds through this. They recommend a hundred round break in with some high velocity, which is what I was using. So I'm going to put a few more rounds through it. Probably do a video on it later. Once I get an optic for it and find out about the slugs. Also, oh, I don't even know if y'all can see my shirt. If y'all can notice... It's Hank versus the Undead. It's a fun little movie made by Dan Sellers and uh, Sammy Castle. Very good friends of mine. They do a lot of nice films around North Carolina. Their production company, uh, Wreak Habit Productions. They do a film festival every year, a horror movie film festival. If y'all get a chance, go check them out because it's a lot of fun. I think their, their festival's coming up in September. You can check out uh, Wreak Havoc Productions on Facebook get the exact dates but it's a fun time it's here in winston-salem so but anyway back to the guns i really appreciate y'all watching and i will catch y'all on the next video after we get some optics we'll do a little more with this but uh but yeah catch y'all in the next video thank y'all for watching and i will see y'all on the range